welcome to Ninja Bell Reviews, and today we're taking an excited look at the Transformers reissue Soundwave with Buzzsaw, and or Condor Cassette Buzzsaw, as it says here, Decepticon Communicator Soundwave, and pretty cool, this is a, a replication of the original G1 box that they have here, and here it says, and traditional Decepticon uh, type colors with the purple and silvers, the Transformers, more than meets the eye, evil Decepticon, there you have a sort of a quick change thing going on from cassette player to robot there on the top as was traditional. Got some little stuff here. Some, yeah, some poses may require additional support. <laughs> says so in other languages. Here's the front of the box. Nice clear window going on here. Traditional artwork of the robot mode and his Condor pal Buzzsaw. I've been so disappointed over the years with some Soundwave figures because they came with a laser beak instead of a Buzzsaw. But traditionally, in the G1 line, he came with Buzzsaw, not laser beak. Okay, so, you know, that's 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 bothered me a little bit. Anyway, but here here is a Age 8 Plus Decepticon Communicator Soundwave and Condor Cassette Buzzsaw. And there's... There you go. <laughs> I love that. Does not record or play cassettes. <laughs> Just to let you know, it's a toy. There is one side of the box showing the modes here going on. It says Decepticon Soundwave on the other side. Once again, same thing. There you go. On the back, that lovely G1 artwork that we all love going on there. And here is a bio. If you want to pause and read it, by all means, go ahead. There you go. So, pretty cool. And here's buzz saws. So, there you go. There's the bottom of the box. There you go. So, didn't have all that corporate lingo that the boxes does now. And I'm going to go ahead and open this and take this out. Open this and take this out. I've never opened this before. As you can see, it's still sealed in the box. So, you know, pretty cool. All right, we'll open this up here. Pull him out. Oh, there we go. Dig that. There we go. We'll sit that over there. Once again, there's the box. Put that out of the way. Okay. Stuff's going on there. there. All right. So here, it, upside down, you like. Here is the instructions. And there is some um, stickers. I imagine the... Uh, the finder that you use for the back of the box, the text spec reader is in there as well. We obviously have not applied to any of these. We don't need instructions. This is the traditional G1 sound wave going on here. Um, here are some slats, which oddly are not actually attached. It's weird, but okay. Look at that. <laughs> Good job, Hasbro. <laughs> Great job. All right, so let's go ahead and take him out. And here he is. And he's looking great. He's looking great, just as is. Looking fantastic. As the G1 Soundwave should. There we go. Pretty cool, all in all. Got the, your belt clip, you know. Set that off to the side. See if we can get uh, Buzzsaw out of here. He's looking really, really good, too. There you go. Pretty cool. Set him off to the side. And of course he comes with his accessories. These are the accessories for a buzzsaw. Let's go ahead and take these out. Now these are plastic instead of die cast. The original would have been die cast. But take that one out. Here is the other one. Nice chromed out. Once again, this is not die cast. This is plastic. So... And it's three missiles. I won't be pulling those out, but they would be go they would fit into these. Here's one. And if I can get the other out, here is the other. There we go. So here is this and this. This is his what will become his rifle. Pretty cool. This is his shoulder weapon. I would love that those have been red, but since this is the original, they're not. Um, and the missiles would fit into there. They don't have the spring-loaded function of the originals. I will, I will, 
I'm pretty sure of that, that I read somewhere that they don't have that function. Let's pull one out and find out. Let's, there we go. Let's set that over there. And of course, they would fit, you know, inside there. And that would have been the button right there. Does it work? Come on. Nope, doesn't work. So no, no functionality there. No. And what about this one? Fits into there. Nope. No. Nope. No spring loaded activations whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Nothing there. So, and it doesn't do it on this one either. So, that would have been been the button right there. And as you can see, nothing. Doesn't do nothing. So that spring loaded functionality has been removed. We'll go ahead and put this back inside there. There we go. And we'll just get rid of that for the moment. And that'll pull down. But anyway, here are their accessories that we will primarily be looking at. So, and like I said, these are just instructions. Probably has the reader in there. And here are some additional stickers that you would put on to Soundwave. So, but we're not going to do those right now. Because I intend to leave them in box once this is done. So this is the Soundwave. Quick comparison. We'll set him over there. We'll set him right there. And here's a more recent figure. Let's uh, tilt this camera down. There we go. And here's a slammer from Kingdom Line. So as you can see, you know, pretty large for the period. Let's get rid of him. And yeah, man, I, I dig it. So this is Buzzsaw, who we should have had in the beginning. Instead of laser beaks. And yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. All, all in all, pretty nice. Get this out. Put this down. Put this down. Get this out. There we go. This out. That does his wings. Let's these wings slide his head out. There we go. We'll put on his weapons. I can remember which way they go on correctly. Goes under there. Goes under there. There we go. Mm. And there's Buzzsaw in his Condor mode. Pretty cool. I really dig it. I really like it. Zoom in on that head. There we go. With his hook beat. And silver, sort of yellowish silver eyes. There you go. I guess it's just silver eyes, but some of the light here makes it gold. Yeah, so pretty cool all in all. All right, sorry about that. A uh, bit of a distraction. If you hear singing in the background, that is my sister-in-law. Forgive me. Anyway, so this was Buzzsaw. Focus, there we go. And yeah, he looks really cool. Nice bright purple Decepticon logo on a silver background, silver chrome background. I like that a lot. So, oh no, pretty cool. Like the gold back there. Sweet. And this, of course, is Soundwave. You would open that up and you would put him inside. So let me do convert him back real quick and we'll check that out. Focus, there we go. All right, we're back and here he is once again in his cassette mode. And you would take this and you would insert this way. And it would fit as long as you got everything transformed properly. It will fit right inside there. And come on. Yeah, there we go. And it would close up close up or oh, I inserted him wrong there we go that's the problem there we go and then close up and there he there he is so um, focus and once again you just doesn't have any actual play button you know functions but that's where he would rest you just open that up take a set out now you can see here that there was a reissue done a, a, a few years ago, and it was actually the Sound Blaster mold they done in the G1 Soundwave colors. You could tell because it had, you could fit two cassettes in it. This will only fit a single cassette, so this is based on the original mold. Nice gold around there. Break, oh, something's wrong with that. Look at that. Now, mind you, I, you just saw me open up this package. Look at that. This kind of... Yeah, it's kind of yeah, but anyway, take take that out. So to begin his oh look at that sticker's coming off too. 
that. So yeah, yeah, that's not so great. But anyway, um, start here, pulling that down, pulling that down, pulling that down, flip it around, flip it around, flip out his feet. Now those are die cast. Yep, that is die cast, not plastic. Yep, the, these these are die cast, not plastic. So these factory applied stickers are not very well done, I'm telling you. Anyway, flip this around, flip this around. Go ahead and pull out those fists via that. Oh, just like so. Easy peasy. Oh, just like so. Those are the fists. And we pull out his head. Boom. And there is Soundwave in his robot mode. Now, one could, if they wanted, store these uh, here. If, if one wanted, they could store those inside here. So you'd have weapon storage. But for now, we're just going to put that back in and place his weapon with where they ought to be. So this one goes right here. This one would go in, in his hand. There we go. And there you have Soundwave in his robot mode. And yeah, I like him. He's a, he's a classic. He's got yellow eyes there. And that head sculpt. Pretty cool. Really dig it. So once again, this is just the G1 sound wave. Doing G1 soundy wavy things. I dig it. Little knobs. No real function, but they at least, you know, give the simulation of doing something. Pretty cool. All in all, I dig it. So set this right back here. We'll do a quick comparison. We'll move this up. Boom. Move him back. We'll do a comparison with a modern. All right, and I uh, couldn't find my updated uh, sound waves, but here is Blaster, Kingdom Blaster. There you go. For a comparison, two enemies meet. So that's the G1. This is the more modern version. You know, I, I, I gotta admit, I like both of these. So, you know, this is still a really, really cool robot, even for its day. And, you know, uh, uh, if, if they're doing, you know, these modern uptakes, you know, like they did with Optimus Prime, I think he definitely should be in the running for one of those, you know, to get that treatment. So, you know, wrist articulation, uh, better shoulder articulation, better, you know, leg articulation, because everything bends the wrong way on, the, on this. So, let's set Blaster aside for a moment, and we'll, we'll talk about that. So, the head does turn, but it, and looks up a nice range, but that's mostly for transformation, right? So the shoulders can go back, they butterfly backwards, go all the way around, and you got, you know, going on here, you've got this nice articulation going on here, 90 degrees, so not too bad. No waist swivel whatsoever, and once again, no back on those legs whatsoever because of the way it's designed. So you can only go forward on it, like that, and the knee is reversed, so you can only go like that, so... Because of, you know, the engineering back then, that's, it is what it is. You did get, you know, some, you know, thigh swivel going on up there, but, uh, you know, nothing to write, really write home about. So, all in all, not a bad toy. And one I really, really love, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have purchased this. But, anyway, this has been my look at the, I believe it's the reissue sound wave, or it could be the com commemorative. I don't think, I'm not sure if it's a commemorative edition. But, at any rate... Still an excellent toy, even today, you know, sure it doesn't have all the articulation that we would like, but it's still an excellent toy, and a good scale too, so, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, make sure to check out my playlist, please, please, click that like button, really helps my channel grow, uh, um, I do have a Patreon link in the description below, if you have the means to do so, and would like to do so, I would really appreciate it, and, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, be good to each other.